Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Nadia. I am a mom of two and I love my nail polish and that's why it's called Mama Hearts Polish. Um, today I'm going to be testing all my clear stampers out. As if you've got, if you've been watching my channel for a while, um, then you know that I struggle to use clear stampers. I don't really like them um, and I've collected a few of them because I'm always trying to find the best stamper. Um, so far the best stamper that I found that works really well for me um, this is a generic uh, stamper I got from Messy Mansion, the uh, Simply Silver from Lantern and Ren, and this stamper uh, from Eujibas. I'm not sure. Eujibas. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. This brand, the um, logo uh, came out with acetone. I got this. Uh, I didn't get it actually. It was a gift from a friend, but they got it from Amazon. Um, anyways, so I've got a few uh, stampers that in my attempt to find a stamper that works for me. Um, if you saw my uh, Moonflower Polish my, um, Vampy Creams video, um, which was a bit of a stamping fail, I was really struggling to uh, use these um, plates here. It was, I think it was this one. This plate here uh, from Bundle Monster with the uh, Simply, Simply Silver. Um, and one of my uh, uh, moonflower polishes of uh, wine actually um, and I posted that video which is really just a review of my polishes but at the same time I got a lot of feedback on what I was doing wrong especially when it comes to using a very shallow plate and these are really shallowly etched um, so the image I had been trying to pick up was this one and what's frustrating is that I've used this image in swatches before by always using a silicone, uh, sticky silicone stamper. Now the main thing that I was told is that I was using a card, a scraper that was too hard. I think I was using this Uber Chief scraper. I don't know why. I'm not sure actually. Or maybe I was using the no, no, no. I think I was using this one. So the the one that came with the um the simply silver. This is a uh, it's a nice scraper. It's but it's really thick and then so it works well. Like I've managed to use this stamper and this scraper for a bunch of other uh, nail art um, and uh, swatches. Um, and if you saw, see the uh, Vampy Creams video, you'll see that it does pick up well with other polishes and other plates. Um, it was specifically with this plate. So um, what I was told was to, throw, to try a thinner um, um, scraper. So like I have this one, this is like the thinnest one I have. These are super, super thin, really flexible scrapers. So I was told to try to put more polish on the image and to use a thin, so I'm gonna, this is the thinnest one I have. Put a lot of uh, polish on the plate and to scrape really lightly. And I normally press down and like scrape harder to scrape really lightly so there's still a lot of polish left in the image and then the other thing that I'm having the hardest time with is the flicking of the wrist so I know in theory when you use these stampers you're supposed to just gently like barely touch and I've seen some people do this and then I've seen other people roll so I've tried it both ways and sometimes I do this and it works great and then sometimes I do this and it works great and then sometimes it doesn't work at all so um, I'm just I just have issues with the flick like I'm used to pressing a little like okay, so if I normally I would press maybe like that so that's too slow and too much pressure for these so it has to be really light but I feel like when I do this really lightly I don't pick up anything at all so Unless I'm using like a really nicely uh, well etched plate, like a Lena plate for example, or some of the uber cheap plates, I can get really nice pickups. Anyways, so I'm going to try, um, I'm also going to try all my stampers, because I feel like it came across like this stamp, this stamper is the problem, and it's not the stamper, it's, it's me problem, it's me and a plate problem. Um, so I'm going to be using uh, Moonflower Pal Polish in Notch, which is my black stamping polish. And I'm going to be uh, testing all these stampers and see if I can get them to work specifically with this plate. Okay, to start out with, I'm going to start out using this stamper, which is the one I've had the longest. I had a video oh, a while ago, also a few years ago. It's one of the most popular videos that I've ever made, which is called Battle of the Clear Stampers. And I tested out the first three stamp clear stampers that I ever got. And these, 
they had just come out on the market. So you had the original Clear Snapper and the original original, which was really hard, um, really difficult to use, and it was really fragile. Mine actually broke a whole bunch of times. I don't ever use it. Um, she later came out with a squishier, uh, slightly stickier one. And then Messy Mansion had come out with this one. It doesn't have the logo or anything. I wrote MM so I would know which one it was. And then the other one was from Wildflower Nails or... Uh, they make nail art supplies, um, I'm not sure if that's the uh, correct, uh, but they have a few snapping plates and, and a few of their own uh, uh, snapping polishes, they have a gel snapping polish and some other um, other supplies. Anyway, and in that video I determined that this one from Messy Mansion was the best one. Um, so this is a uh, firmer, it's soft, but it's still a little firmer, so it's more of the type of um, hardness. I guess of the type of stamper that I'm used to, which is the uh, silicone stampers. I like medium firm stampers. Um, so I'm gonna try it with this one. Um, so the image that I was struggling with, specifically this part of the image, this area here with the flower. Um, so the other thing I've determined is also the angle. I think I wouldn't know if I was doing it at this angle. So I'm gonna try a different angle um, and see what happens. Okay. Yeah, so that worked out perfectly for me. Like, I have no issues using this clear stamper. There's always a little bit of spots missing, and um, I only don't get those spots if I use like a harder silicone stamper, but that's the image I was struggling to pick up. Okay, now with the uh, Simply Silver from Lantern and Run, which is the uh, stamper I had issues with. Not the stamper, but the combination of plate, stamper, and polish. Focus, there we go. So let me try this again. I'm applying way more polish than I did last time. And like I said, I'm also using a thinner uh, scraper and a different angle. Oh my god, yes. Can you see it? It worked. It worked, you guys. Okay. I don't know if you can see it. This is so... Let me flip it around. <laughs> there we go. That's what it looks like. It worked, you guys. Finally. Okay. I think I'm getting the hang of it. guys you know what I just noticed this damper is breaking I talked to Carly about getting replacement heads for these I know I've had some people ask me about it and look oh, it's breaking um my kid I've caught my kids playing with it they're 10 and 5 they're not that little they should know better but it's so soft and squishy um I don't know if my daughter tried using it maybe for nail art and it fell off I think she did she can stamp but it must maybe it got stuck somewhere and fell off and then when she jammed it back in it I don't know and I know my son likes to play with them if I leave them on my desk desk they'll um play with them he'll play with them and he'll squish it and stuff so anyways let's be careful with that um, the next stamper I'm going to use is the um, Bubble Monster Monocle um, stamper. Oh, you can't see anything. I have to like flip it around so you can see against the white. There we go. Well, I didn't get the part of the image I wanted, but in overall, it picked up really nicely. So I think I'm getting the hang of this. Up next is uh, this stamper with the brand name I can't really pronounce. Ejubas? Ejubas?
Yeah, this is a very small stamper, but it picked up really nicely. So it picked up really nicely as well. Up next is this generic blue stamper. This is sort of like Born Pretty has one, and then you can find a whole bunch of them on Amazon. And this is one of the first um, larger stampers like this that I got. It I've used it before, so I know it works okay. Lastly is this uh, also generic little red stamper. Oh, it's stuck. This one I've had trouble um, trouble using. Oh, that worked! Yay! I'm so happy you guys I got all of the stampers to work using the really thin super flexible um, card on that uh, problematic plate I got all of them to work no, none of them are in frame there we go here we go here are all my little stamper babies I got all of them to work even the one that like this one I was really struggling with um, and I had given up and this one I was going to sell it because I couldn't get it to work sometimes I mean it works but some not that not the best um, and this one I think I couldn't get it to pick up at all um, I'm so happy and now I'm gonna try uh, the polish I had been trying last time using uh, the simply silver and the uh, same plate same image with uh, wine which is the polish I had been trying last time that wasn't uh, that wasn't working Okay, so here she is. I've used a lot of it in the attempts to get it to stamp on this plate and flip this around. So, okay, so this is wine. It's from Moonflower Polish, my own brand. I made this one, like, I actually make them myself in my home. Apply a nice good amount. Lightly scrape. Oh, I forgot. Yay! Oh my god! It works. It works. I can't see. There we go. It works, you guys. It works. And it picked up so much, too. I did it. I'm so happy. I got it to work. Finally. Okay guys, that's it for this video. Um I'm just glad I got it to work. I'm really um gonna be give some thanks to the people that helped me out in my um painted moonflower uh moonflowers group. That's my fan group for my polishes. Um, when I posted the video there, I got a lot of help. Uh, a lot of it was from another stockist of mine in the UK. Her name is Alexandra, and she's at Nail Artisan uh, UK. And she stocks all of my polishes um, over there. So if you're from the area, that's where you can get them. And she gave me a whole lot of tips, um, on especially the uh, thin card, uh, using the thinner card. And I think um, I think someone else, someone else also left a comment uh, um, on the thin card. Uh, tip as well and I'm so glad that I tried it out again and I got it to work and as you can see it's maybe you know it's not the stamper it was the card and I wasn't applying enough nail polish in the plate and I've been stamping for years and then I was still having issues and I'm just really glad that I can finally use all of these stampers um, and so you should be seeing more of these uh, clear stampers in my videos I still really like my silicone stampers I feel like they pick up better than clear stampers but I do know that a lot of people like clear snappers and um, so 
At least I got the hang of it. I'm just proud of myself.